Okay, it's day number eight of our 10 day African safari. Um, everybody's pretty much shot the target animals they were after. Now we're hunting cull animals like eland cows, wildebeest cows, and kudu cows. And I'm also looking for a zebra or possibly a hartebeest. And the steenbok and diker, which are pretty uh, elusive, you don't see them very often. I think if um, we get a chance at one of those, we may take it. I just made a good hit on that wildebeest cow. Um, looks really good. Looks really, really good. She was having a hard time getting away there, so uh, she shouldn't have gone far. Okay, Fritz just showed up. He doesn't say much, he just gets right on the track. This is where I hit her. She was standing here. That was in that blind. She fell right here, there's part of the arrow. She fell right there, arrow fell out. She ran this way. Catch up with Fritz. Amazing how these guys track. I think I might see her laying up there. Oh yeah, there she is. Glad I was able to put a good hit on her. All right, Fritz, very good. Good. I hit my mark, which I was happy about. Once a woodsman did the trick again. I can't believe how well it does on this African game. Just a great broadhead. Very good, Fritz. He's a good man. We're hunting here in Namibia with Makalan safaris. And uh, it's getting towards the end of the week. I have two more days to hunt. I've taken basically all the animals I came here and wanted to take. Been very fortunate to do that. Been looking for a zebra, but the zebra are really elusive. We only have like three sightings of them, and none of them have made it to the water hole. So I'm calling some animals here, and very happy to take this blue wildebeest cow. Uh, just having a lot of fun here in Africa. I've been using the Wenzel Woodsman. I think I've set it on every animal I've taken, but it's just doing an awesome job on these animals. And of course, I'm always hunting with my black widow bow, but real good time here. Thanks a lot, Fritz. Appreciate it. Good man. <laughs> okay, I just want to show you the penetration I'm getting on these African animals. I'm hunting with a 62 pound black widow bow that I use for deer hunting back home. I hit right through the shoulder here using a Wenzel Woodsman and a 2315 arrow that's uh, about 29 inches long, almost 30 inches long, 
it's about 680 grains total with the broadhead but I hit here right through the shoulder and the broadhead passed all the way through and exited right here through the front part of this shoulder if you can see it there so you don't you don't need any any I, I would shoot heavy arrows but a 60 pound recurve um, do fine any anything that you hunt deer with back home 50 to 60 pound recurve my wildebeest cow, I'm heading back to the blind. Okay, uh, we just went and got my wildebeest as you saw. Uh, Fritz took it back and the skinners will start skinning it. I got back in the blind here and in Africa typically um, if you shoot an animal you can get back in the same blind and it'll take a couple of hours but typically you could still have the chance of having other animals come in. So instead of moving to another blind I'm going to sit here, I'm going to finish eating my lunch, and uh, hopefully we'll have a, we'll get a chance at something else. I'm still hoping for a zebra, although they're really elusive, but we'll ride out the afternoon and see what happens. I just got down and went out and checked the arrow and it hit him, it caught part of him and there's blood on the arrow. Um, doesn't look like a lot but I trailed him a little ways and there's definitely blood on the trail. So I don't know if it's just a low flesh wound or what it is but um, there's some blood so uh, we got Fritz coming out, we're going to get on the trail and see what we can do here. <clears throat> Okay, it's the morning after I hit that diker. Um, me and Fritz are out here looking for it right now. We were on the trail last night with the little dog trying to get it, and uh, the diker kept running ahead of us. It looks like I cut through both front shoulders in the front of the brisket. I was way forward on the shot, but we're gonna keep trailing him here. Fritz is on it now and see what we can come up with. My only fear is that maybe the jackals got him. But we got blood here and he goes a long ways not finding much blood. And uh, then he'll find some and I can see the blood here and confirm that we're on the trail. But until you see the blood, for us from the United States, it's hard to believe that he's on the trail. But it's, it's amazing. It looks to me like he may have bedded there last night. I'm not sure. There's, there's quite a bit of blood there. Um, looks pretty dark, like it puddled up pretty good. But well, we found where his last bed was there. I did. I hit him forward. I hit him forward through the bottom of the neck. Unbelievable. Thank you, Fritz. Thank you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I can't believe it. They're a small animal. I didn't think I'd get them, but <clears throat> looks like I got them. I don't know. They're so small, I don't know if that's a good one or not. Good or small? That's a good one. That's a good one. He says that's a good one. So, I hope, he, I hope he's not pulling my leg, because I have no idea. <laughs> they're, they're really, really small, but very happy we got them. Very lucky to get them. Oh. 
unbelievable tracking skills. I've never seen anything like this. I've heard about it <clears throat> and uh, wanted to believe it, but you don't really believe it until you see it yourself. And this is just amazing. He did such an amazing job. It was a poor hit. I hit it forward. I must have not, uh, must have lost concentration right at the end when I shot there, but very lucky to have got him. Looks like a spike horn to me, but I guess that makes a good gray diker. Real lucky, glad we got him. I'm glad I, I didn't wound an animal and was not able to retrieve him. Um, but I just got lucky, got lucky on this one. But this African hunting is something else. Okay, it's the last day of our 10 day African safari here in Namibia, hunt with Makalan hunting safaris. Um, today we're looking for a red heart of beast or a zebra and we'll probably, uh, everybody's looking to call a uh, kudu cow. But it's been a great trip and looking forward to the last day in the stand. Hopefully it's as good as all the previous nine days were. Fritz is giving me a ride out. It's a nice mature kudu cow. She gave me a, a good angle. She was perfectly broadside and uh, the hit looked perfect on her. Looked absolutely perfect. So I don't I don't think she went very far, which is good. Arrow was covered in blood. The hit looked really good. Uh, I'll give it about an hour or so and then we'll go take a look at her. You can see where she ran right through here. And right through here, there's not a lot of blood, but there's enough. There's enough for me to follow. Some right there. It's kind of spotty like that. She's heading right through here. Oh, there she is, right there. She didn't go very far at all. I bet you it's. Geez, I don't know, maybe 65 yards from the stand. It's not that far. Go up here and take a look at her. All right, what a beautiful animal. This is awesome. Well, I hope you've enjoyed Traditional Adventures for Africa. This is the end of our 10-day hunt here with Makalan Safaris. I'd like to thank Antoni Lowe, his wife Melinda, and their three children for their hospitality. I also want to thank Black Widow Bows, Three Rivers Archery, Custom King Traditional Archery, and Traditional Bowhunter Magazine for the support that they've given me over the years. But most importantly, I want to thank my family, my wife Katie and our four kids, Billy, Ben, Garrett, and Brooke, Without your love for daddy and your understanding of my lifestyle, this wouldn't be possible. This was the adventure of a lifetime. If you ever want to go to Africa, I suggest you do it. It's beautiful. What a hunt. It's great footage. I will attest to, to it. I was there. And he comes walking out of that blind. He puts his hands up. He says, the cow's doing it. <laughs> <laughs> and what did Tony say? <laughs> No, no, never. never. <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen, this has been a good trip, huh? Yes, sir. Seriously, definitely. It's a safe trip home.